The coronavirus pandemic has pushed several economies into a deep recession. The outbreak has had a big impact on the economic, social and political fronts in many parts of the world. In Myanmar, the virus has dragged the poor families pretty much to the edge. Now, out of work and unable to feed his baby, Pine's husband, who was a construction worker, reportedly took his own life. The kind has said that they gave up their son. They gave their son a cheap milk powder because they simply could not afford anything else. The kind has said that her son fell sick after having the milk. When Kain went out to get some medicines, her husband reportedly took his own life. <laughs> As Myanmar's coronavirus infections continue to soar, several volunteers have in fact stepped in to provide support to the people. The volunteers are providing food packets to those in need and are working tirelessly to fight the outbreak. But the pandemic has exposed the fragility of the region's social safety nets and the government's failed measures to provide financial assistance. The lockdown and the outbreak has cast a spotlight on hunger. Myanmar has over one third of its population in poverty. Over 730 people have died due to the coronavirus infections in the country. The country has reported just about 31,000 cases, out of which two-thirds of the cases are said to be in the biggest city, Yangon. Now, Yangon has a population of about 7 million residents. Myanmar's borders have been shut for several months and the city of Yangon has been sealed off. And the residents have been ordered to stay within their townships in a very strict lockdown. The Myanmar civilian leader Aung San Suu Kyi, however, is determined not to postpone the 8th of November elections despite growing calls by many opposition parties to do so because that would be in the interest of the nation.